Hey everybody, I've been uh, meaning to put out a little bit better video to help people distinguish between a lens anomaly and the real thing. Uh, maybe this will help bring a little knowledge and logic into you know what to look for and not to look for and a couple tests that you can do to see if what you have is it or not. It's not really a good idea to point your phone or camera or anything up at the sun because what's going to happen is going to burn out your sensor for one. But um, there's the finger tests that you can do to tell between a lens flare. Just point your camera up. But you get your your lens flare in there, and what you do, is you take and you block your you block the sun out. See how it disappears? There's the lens flare. There's another test that you can do, and it's called the uh, 360 degree camera rotation. What you're doing is as you're capturing the sun, you take and you move your camera physically 360 degrees. You're going to want to have your camera on auto rotation. And if that dot stays at the top or the side or wherever it's first located, but if it, if it keeps staying there every time you turn your camera, you know something's goofy because it should be moving in relation to your camera. Here's another example of a different kind of anomaly. It's called a total lens reflection, or I refer to it as an internal lens reflection. Some people call it a ghost image. Um, it's kind of typical of a flare. But as you see, when you move the camera around, it tends to stay right in the same spot. But it's actually the same thing as the lens flare. It's just all that light is bouncing around inside the camera. It's reflecting off of the lens and back onto the sensor. So it kind of creates a second image of the sun. But it's pretty much the same thing as a lens flare. If you block out the sun, it goes away. This is what I use to photograph the sky. This is the Canon Rebel T4i. It's nothing spectacular, but when used with the proper settings and filters, you can usually get rid of all those lens flares and reflections. As you can see in these examples, even using good equipment, it's still possible to get lens flares and camera reflections. But with a little bit of know-how and some proper settings and using filters, you'll soon be able to get images like these that are lens flare and reflection free. Another great tool that you can download for free is a program called Stellarium. It allows you to input whatever area you want. You know, I, like right now I've got Monroe, Michigan in the United States. And uh, we can see looking kind of southeast, we've got the sun with the moon following behind it. But you can put in... Uh, can put in the date and time, put in your location, you can go back days, uh, I believe you can even go forward. Um, everything's mapped out in the stars. I mean, it's, it's no big mystery. They're able to predict things for years and years and years. You can also download the uh, cell phone version. It's like two or three dollars. You can get it at a Play Store, um, probably whatever you use for Apple phones. Uh, but there is a couple free things that you can view the night sky with. Um, there is Sky Map, which allows you to just point your phone. You can point your phone up at the sky and it tells you exactly what you're looking at. Or there's another one that I like is uh, Sky View. And that's also a free app, same, same deal. Go outside and look up and you can see all your different kind like this Ursa Major is over there. But you can see uh, all your different constellations and these are free apps. Whether you're just into photography or astronomy or whatever, it um, allows you to actually know what you're looking at. A couple great sites that I like to use on YouTube uh, is Daza the Cameraman. Uh, awesome dude from New Zealand. He breaks everything down scientifically. 
Um, he's an astronomer, and he, you know, goes through and actually uh, he has a lot of videos debunking all the different lens flare fear mongers out there on YouTube. Another good one is Astronomy Live. It's the same type of thing as Daz of the Cameraman. Um, you know, true astronomer, he breaks everything down and, you know, real easy to understand these guys. I've learned so much from these dudes. And, um, you know, it'll just help you get a better idea of, you know, what's the real thing and who's just putting out videos to scare you into clicking on their stuff and getting paid. Hope you guys learned a couple things and maybe gained a couple of new tools to put in the old tool bag. And uh, happy hunting.